Hi, Jeremy Oliver here from Cell Space TV, standing in the Botanical Garden in South Yarra in Melbourne. And I'm sure you've wondered many times in your wine drinking life, whether it's long or short, how one bottle of one thing can be so much more expensive than another bottle of the same thing. Well, let's take a look. I've got here um, from Margaret River in the 2017 vintage a Cabernet, and it's from Xanadu. It's called the Exmoor Cabernet Sauvignon 2017, okay? Margaret River, and that is $20 a bottle. From the same region, from the same vintage, from the same variety, I have Sandalford Prendeville Reserve Margaret River Cabernet 2017, and that weighs in, depending where you get it, around about 85 to 90 bucks or so. So it's about four, four and a half times as pricey as the Xanadu here. So let's have a taste and see if there's a conclusion to be drawn or not. So the um, the inexpensive wine from the, the cooler 17 season is amazingly fragrant. It's so floral and heady and I'm getting violets, black currants, mulberries, gentle, cedary, um, baking cigar box of yogurt. I don't know how they're doing that for 20 bucks. A classic 17 vintage Margaret River Cabernet, which is fine and long and textural. With a beautiful core of vibrant uh, black currant, dark plum fruit, the scenery oak, and this really crunchy, firm, sort of grippy spine that's beautifully integrated. Really a good wine. I could give him that a decent silver medal for 20 bucks. Okay, next one. The uh, very expensive, incredible, and I'm getting a slightly raw oaky smell. Often, winemakers, when making a wine, they want to be more expensive give it a truckload of oak to justify um, what they've done and justify the price. And I'm not 100% happy that oak smells a bit plasticky and a little bit, not so much plasticky, but a little bit resiny and a bit pine needle-like. I'm not liking it as much as the smell of the aromas of the, the cheap wine. Palette's much better. It's more substantial. There are layers. It has a real core and depth. And it has a tightly knit core of fruit, oak, tannin. And the tannin is of a higher quality, finer grade than that as in the um, Exmoor Cabernet from Xanadu. And it goes on forever. It's got a lot of concentration, a lot of power. It's a showy wine. What would I drink now? Easily for $20. What would I want to sell it for five years or more? Well, the Sandalford, but is it a real seller classic for 90 bucks or thereabouts? Hmm, I'm not so sure. I think it's a good wine without being a great wine. Whereas for the value for money in this $20 bottle of Xanadu Cabernet is absolutely outstanding.